I think we're just in a time now where um, I can't find the justification for what we're doing. And now to a story you'll only see on Local 10 News. Teachers reacting to a controversial change in how African-American history will be taught. The State Department of Education was in South Florida today to explain the new curriculum to teachers. Local 10's Glenna Milberg was there and is live with the exclusive. Glenna. Nicole, to explain or to clarify or to defend, it seemed like it was one or all of those things as this Department of Education rep was telling these teachers why teaching an American atrocity could possibly include words like benefits. We happen to be at the conference at that very moment. The benchmark clarification, which has received a lot of attention. Just as the state social studies director defended to hundreds of Florida teachers the intent behind new African American history standards, especially the line that slaves develop skills from which they could personally benefit. Listen. This has been interpreted to mean slaves benefited from slavery, and that is not the standard at all, but rather the story of a resilient people who responded to their oppressors in an adaptive manner utilizing every resource at their disposal to resist the inhumane nature of the bondage they were in. It's the first defense we've heard firsthand from the state despite days of phone calls and requests and despite the state chancellor, an African-American man, insisting the media got these social study standards wrong. You've been peddling really a false narrative. The slave story doesn't get to be told by the descendants of slaves because we weren't the winners. Few teachers here were willing to speak publicly. They're trying to uh, have us teach us a specific uh, a way and specific content that's revisionist. On the task force that wrote the standards, six of 13 are African Americans. All skin folk and kin folk, meaning that everybody who is, just because they look like us does not mean that they are one of us or that they have our best interests at heart. You know, aside from that line that has really sparked so much outrage, not only locally, but nationally, there are parts of the standards that are actually factually wrong. But right now it is not clear whether the Department of Education plans to revisit any of it. I'm Glenna Milberg live in Southwest Miami Day today, Local 10 News.